This is my 2023 BMW M3. And in the last episode, you guys saw us transform it from this to this. And now it gets exciting because we're bringing this car to SEMA. The SEMA show is the ultimate automotive trade event featuring the latest in aftermarket parts and cool innovations. It's where car enthusiasts and industry pros meet in Vegas every year. And we have a mountain of parts here to transform it. We're calling it phase two. We've got S-Tech satin PPF, full CSF cooling system, Olin's coilovers, some goodies from IND like paint match reflectors, new badges. We've got a complete Piper Cross carbon fiber air intake system, P3 gauge, Bay Optics taillights, and there's a lot of things that are not here yet, but you guys are gonna have to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. The Stack Dynamat PPF we're installing is going to make my life so much easier. Not only is this film hydrophobic, which makes it a lot easier to maintain, water is going to beat up, making it quicker to wash and easier to keep clean between washes. Several days later. Here, back at Elite Finish to check in on the G80 M3. I see they're moving it right now. And I think they've got a lot of work done. So let's go inside and see where they're at. I cannot wait to see this car. That looks so good. That is sick. I don't know what it is, man. I just love satin cars. Look at how cool that looks. You can see the body line so much more, like rear quarter panel is so much more aggressive. So is the front bumper the last thing, almost? Yeah, so we still have the roof to do, okay. and then the carbon on the bottom of the car, and also replacing the gloss black on the side skirts, because those are all stained up. And then once we get the wing on, we'll do the wing as well. <laughs> Next up, it's time to install the laser taillights and the goodies from IND. So these taillights are from Bay Optics. Everything should be plug and play, no wiring or anything. Man, these up. look so factory. Yeah, that's wild. So here's the before. Swapping out the taillights is as easy as removing some of the OEM panels, unclipping the factory taillights, and installing the new Bay Optics ones. There's no wiring involved, so it's a pretty easy install. Sick. Look at that. CSL laser. Oh, they're on. They're, they're on. on. I just can't see because it's on the lift. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Those are sick. That's it. Bay Optics taillights are installed. Let's see what they look like. It's the little details like these IND painted reflectors that make a huge difference for me. But I wanna know, what is your favorite car mod? Comment down below. Today is the day. This SEMA project was kind of last minute, so I did not have the time to order a brand new set of forged wheels, but I did happen to find my favorite set of wheels, lightly used, and I cannot wait to see them right now. I have been looking for a set of wheels like this for so long. Oh, 20 inch BBS RS2s, brush centers, polished outers. These are gonna look so good. And in the car, with all the stack film on it, oh my God, this looks amazing. Coming along. 
Oh, I cannot wait to mount these. Now, I had a bag of lug bolts with me because this car, when we dropped it off, had a set of spacers with extended bolts. And unfortunately, they were so long that they actually prevented the car from moving. So now, we got the regular OEM BMW wheel bolts. So we're gonna toss them on. We're gonna toss the wheels on for the first time. Crossing my fingers, the fitment is good. The tire size is good. I cannot wait to see this on the car. Oh, it looks so good. I love satin finishes. The stack finish is just amazing. It's not flat, it's got a little sheer to it. It just makes the body lines of this car like really accentuated. So much more detail now and everything. Oh man. The IND roundels are on and the black badge. That's a nice little touch. I hated the chrome. I really like the gloss accents too. So we decided to leave the, the black side skirts, gloss black, all the carbon is gloss, and then just anything that was Alpine white is now that stack Dynamat. Looks so good against the, the glossy carbon and the roof. You guys killed it. I turn around. Not yet. Oh! Send it, right? Ooh, let's go. Go. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. Damn, that looks sick. Wow, the fitment is good. Just need to come down a little bit lower. Sheesh. All right, so to do a quick recap to get you guys up to speed, the team at Elite finished an amazing job. We've got the stack Dynamat PPF on the entire car, and anything that was gloss black now has gloss PPF from stack. We've got the BBS RS2s with the Falcon Azenus FK510. They're 20 inch. Uh, we've got 10s in the front and 12s in the back, so super nice. Around back, we've got the Bay Optics laser CSL style taillights that look awesome, and we've got the IND badges, so black M3 badge, black roundel. And we have a lot more back at the shop, so let's get back there quick because we are running out of time. Today is the day, we got the G80 on the lift. We're gonna start with the suspension and brakes. So Quinn is going ahead and getting the Olin's Road and Tracks assembled. You ready? You ready, dude? You, you know These are hot. It? Look at this. Look at this setup right here. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. oh. starting out bad already. Wow. Well, there you go, dude. These are high. Are we slamming this thing? We're we going all the way down. Full, all the way slam. down in the rear full and full lifted in the front. E36 DTM stands <laughs> out the gate. <laughs> so these Olin's Road and Tracks we used on Nick's M2. Yeah. And according to Nick, they're the best coilovers he's ever used. So I'm so really funny. excited. We're going to try them on the G80. We've got everything here to install it. And moving out of the brakes, we have a beautiful new set of Terox rotors and pads. So we have two piece rotors here. These things are massive. We've got the smooth, long veins on this. It's gonna help deglaze the pads, make sure everything is working perfectly because my factory OEM brakes are already making a ton of noise. And I'm not really too down for that. So without further ado, these guys jamming on the coilovers. I'm gonna get started on the brakes. Let's do it. Oh, he's over there. No, no, no. This is not gonna benefit me at all. He's flying around back. No. Oh, we gotta kill him or he's gonna attack everyone. Where is he? Oh, oh he's on you. Stop. You see him? I don't see him. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's yeah, on Quinn yeah, now. Yeah, all right, all right, yeah, get him. Yeah, get him, yeah, get him. Yeah. Where is he? Where is Let him land. Stay still. Stay still. Oh, he's, he's now he's on Ricky. Oh. Did you get did him? Did you get him? No, no, no. He ain't getting anything, bro. It's Quinn. He went up. He flew up. He like went up. Alright, we'll keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Hey! Hey! Yeah. Look at the size of this! Look at the size of this brake pad! <laughs> this is the biggest brake pad I've ever seen in my life. There's no way this is real. Holy Jesus! <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, Ricky, pull your phone out. Hello. 
Bro. This is about the size of an uh, Android, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than your phone. This is a 23. A S23 Ultra. This is the biggest <laughs> S23. Crazy. Wow. We start by removing the OEM factory front brake calipers, followed by the brake rotors. And then we clean up the dust shields to remove any of the grime that's on there. Installing the new Terox brakes is simply the opposite process. We first install the new rotors, followed by the brake pads, and then the brake calipers. The last thing to do is just bolt everything back together and we're done. Front brakes are officially done. They look sick. Look how good they look. Should we bring back the sick counter for today's video? Sure. These look sick. <laughs> All right, it's lunchtime. Bro, you seriously trying to get in this car? Wait, give us a rundown of what we got here. All right, this is a 1989 Suzuki Swift GT, or GTI, whatever you want to call it. Look. <laughs> and I installed custom suspensions. I cut all four springs, and then that's what you have right there. All right, so we got a lunch spot. We got a lunch spot that's down the road. We're going to see if we can make it it's there. It's not going to, bro. Okay. It is gonna make it there. What do you mean it's not gonna make it there? I don't know there. why he doesn't have it faith in his own work. <laughs> this is sick! Well, if you wanted self clearancing, this is. Ah, oh, it's definitely gonna It's work gonna now. solve itself, yeah. No. Oh no. Oh! Oh! No. Oh! Oh! You wanted it! Sheesh! We made it, boys! Was it? Give uh, the Ricky Uber ride a review. <laughs> five stars, five stars. Five stars. Yeah, let's go. Open for business. I never give anyone less than five stars. <laughs> Damn. You give that a 10. You give that a 10 out of 10. 10? That was sick, that was fun. Would I do that every day? No. Hell no. I don't think I'd ever do that again. <laughs> I that is so painful. Now it's time to move on to the Olin's Road and Track coilovers. These are designed to provide the optimal balance between track level performance and everyday comfort. All the old equipment is out. It's time to get the new Olin's and baby, let's go. All right, so the rear rotors are gonna go in right now. Becky did a good, look at this. It looks brand new. Yes, yeah, it's nice I and clean. Get, I always get assigned the brakes, and you gotta do it right, <laughs> clean it up. Let's put it in right now. Come on, ready? I got the screws I need to. Boom. Bada beam, bada boom. Some Owens in here, baby. Don't stand behind it. If it didn't do anything, stand behind it. Yeah. Don't stand behind it. Next up, we've got CSF coolers. So we have a heat exchanger right here, then we have an oil cooler right here, and we're crossing our fingers. We don't have to take off the front bumper, but we might have to. Now we've done it before. So many bolts, so many screws, so many clips. We're praying that we don't have to do it, but we'll see. Let's see. This will be the moment of truth. Step one, remove Step front one, bumper. remove front bumper, let's see. Step one, put the car on the left. Step two, remove inner fender liners. Direction. No! Oh, front bumper off? Ah, front bumper's gotta come off. All right, Ripperino. Let's take a look at this thing. Boy, that's a beautiful part. And we've got a rock guard here, and it came with one for the bottom, too. Yeah, so the crash support rolls right through here, so you don't really need one right there. But Dang. the top and the bottom are protected, which is awesome. Let's go, baby. 
Look at that. These are all metal construction and the factory ones have some plastic on them. The oil coolers are really susceptible to getting damaged. So if you damage a plastic one, you're in big trouble. So we've got this guy now. This is such a big oil cooler. Like all the <laughs> oil coolers we put on the aftermarket cars, like they're like 10 row, like they're like that big. And you're like, yeah, you got a lot of cooling. But like, this is huge, bro. This is huge. <laughs> Look at that. All right, well, there's nothing else to do. There's nothing left to do but to do it. What does Mickey say? What is this saying? Nothing to it but to do there's it. There's nothing to it but to do it. So let's do it. done just about everything we can up top so now we're gonna move on to the under trays we gotta pull these off and while we're down here we're also gonna replace the oil cooler yeah so look at how exposed the oil cooler is from the factory there's no rock guard i've already hit a couple rocks in it and this car only has a few thousand miles they have this little diffuser little thing right in front to protect it but that's really it too much that's yeah. it so a lot of this stuff has to come off here and then we're gonna drain the coolant and we're gonna keep going all right what we got Oh, she's ready. Hey, hey, easy. Dude, we don't have a ready. green pan. She's at ready all. to go, dude. We still have another week or week. Hey. There it is, baby. Upper's off, lower's off. Also, we found something out really super cool about this whole setup now is that the key is grilled. You can actually completely get all your hands through everything. So we can like work on it without even taking the front bumper off, which is pretty sick. Hey, that's a major win, if you ask me. That's a huge win. Yeah. Here you go. Are you attached up? Oh, doctor! Let's go! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we don't have to take the bumper off. Wow, that's sick. CSF cooler going in the G80. Let's go. Glove. Oh, oh slid right in, dude. Look at that. This piece, solid. So the factory units are also have plastic end tanks. So the CSF stuff is all aluminum. Look at how polished everything is. And then the fittings are all plug into factory fittings too. So you don't have to do hose clamps or anything like that. You just hook your hose on, boom, plug it in. And it also is bigger, which means more fluid capacity, which means more medium for cooling, which means it does a better job because there's more fluid on top of it doing a better job because it's better. How many more times can you say better? It is better. You know the only thing I don't like about the CSF cooler? You ready? You want to know what it is? Is that we have to cover everything. So you really can only see a tiny bit behind the, behind the front grill. The CSF oil cooler is officially done. All of the under panels are on. So now we need to bring it back down and finish up the top side. So we got to put the rest of the trim pieces on and we have a special part, which I'm going to show you over here. So in this part right here is going to replace that panel and it's going to look amazing in the engine bay. Yeah, I feel this steel. Whoa, damn. This is the Keys Motorsports panel and this is actually a complete replacement. So we're now going from Pretty heavy steel to carbon fiber. This literally weighs. I know. It's a huge difference in weight. Crazy. You can lift this with your pinky. <laughs> and it comes with all the nut certs and everything you need. And we're just going to use these factory clips. And this should just take yep. two seconds. And Quinn is getting everything else buttoned up. How's it looking? Rad and cool. I just spilled a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tightening up a little bit of the Downstar. 
That's the last thing, yeah, baby. We put this kit on the last time. We did this car. I know, it, it looks so looks nice. Such a nice kit, dude. This Keys Motorsports panel, super nice. Matches all the carbon fiber. And we do have the Piper Cross intake to do, but we're running out of time for today. So we're gonna come back and do that tomorrow. And we also have a few more things we need to add. Looking really, really good. Super nice. Getting there. Test drive went awesome. The new Piper Cross G80 carbon fiber intake. We got a lot of carbon in the engine bay, brother. Hey! <laughs> we got a ton of carbon fiber in the engine bay and the intake is no different. These are beautiful. I love the little badges on here. And of course, features the foam filters from Piper Cross. So we should see a couple HP gains on this one. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the kit. Look at these. These are like machined. So this is an adapter that goes from the OEM BMW kind of snap-in style to letting us run these. So this, I saw these alone and this yeah. is a beautiful piece. So I can't wait to see how the rest of this intake system comes together. It's gonna to be really sharp. Well, we got a Carbon quick everything. little instruction manual here. It looks very simple, but I appreciate they send it to us. So that is it, the G80 project is officially finished. I am so stoked, it turned out amazing. I just got word that the transport company will be here in a few days. So I'm actually not even gonna drive this car at all before it gets shipped out to SEMA. So if you guys happen to be at SEMA and you wanna see the car, please check out the Piper Cross booth. I'll put all the information on the screen. The intake looks amazing, the engine bay looks awesome. So if you guys like this video, please leave us a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one, later. Today's the day we finally have our Evo sweepstakes winner. And he's inside here. He's in the envelope? I mean, his name is inside <laughs> here. Here we go. From Chula Vista, California. Yay. It's a local guy. Yeah. 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 Rick Canero. Yes. Rick Canero! Let's go, baby! That's awesome. Let's give him a call. Should we give him a random FaceTime? Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, Rick! Rick! Oh my God. Yeah! Rick, you're the winner of our Evo and a check for $20,000, dude. Congrats. Oh, he's wearing a driver's yeah. shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. man. <laughs> What's up, bro? Yeah. yeah. That's so This sick. is it. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, you? man. You're the winner. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, we're stoked, man. You're local, too. <laughs> I think that might be the best reaction we've ever had from any winner. Dude. Oh, you guys have no idea how bad I want this car. I've been telling my son, so all the parts we bought is actually for the car that we're in right now. I'm teaching him how to drive. All right. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, that's gonna, awesome. If he doesn't know how to drive manual, you're going to have to teach him. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Oh, that's good. Right, I can tell. It's awesome. Congrats, man. Thanks, bro. We'll talk soon. Later. Bye-bye.
So that that was that. epic. That is the reaction that makes doing this so worthwhile. Yeah. Dude is stoked, beyond stoked. That's the fact awesome. that he was wearing this shirt. Yeah, I'll be there so in 35 so minutes. <laughs> So that's it, Rick, congratulations again. And remember guys, we're giving away a 2007 STI and a check for $20,000. You guys just saw us finish it. It turned out absolutely amazing. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please give us a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.